So, for the first time on Dice Jail, uh, we have a little bit of a special episode tonight. Um, after last Abomination Vaults, um, we were like, let's take a little break. You know, because Abomination Vaults is getting a little, uh, getting to be a little bit much. Um, we're and also, suffering immensely. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> uh, so Cam and I uh, discussed a little bit, and we thought it would be fun if instead of Abomination Vaults, uh, I, Colby, uh, ran a one shot for, uh, you know, the next, in all likelihood, uh, four Abomination Vault sessions. Yeah, one so, shot, right? <laughs> yeah, quote unquote one shot. Um, so, uh, and by the way, this is my first time GMing anything, so if it's a little, little rough around the edges, uh, bear with me. Now, without further ado, Whoa. welcome to Little Trouble in Big Absalom. Excitement buzzes in the air throughout the Hook Claw War. Kobolds drop their work and peer out from tunnels to watch as you pass. You have been chosen for a most important mission. Tunnelmaster Micknick is anticipating your arrival. As you enter the chamber, you see the Tunnelmaster himself behind a large, if ramshackle, desk. With a pair of half-burnt cigars in his jaws and a tattered suit and hat that could only have been fished from the finest of dumpsters, you can tell that this large, soot-covered man is a kobold of some renown. And he looks like this. What a guy. What a fella. Is... Sit down, oh. sit down. Whoa. Whoa. Sit down, sit down. I've been waiting for you all. Tell that boys. Guess I idea. The other kobolds set their tools down and begin their breaks. So, the boys back home sent you along to secure this here treasure vault. Now, I'm not the one to leave a new rat with fresh cheese, but if the family says you're clean, I trust you wash your scales. That said, well, I'm gonna need a little bit of help from y'all. He holds up a set of uh, five beige folders, uh, and, and they're like office folders, like like completely out of place. Like they're too clean to be here. Uh, this this cavern or whatever that you're in is uh, you know filled with like the clanking of metal, the soot and dust of rocks being mined away. Uh, so to see clean office folders is quite interesting. <laughs> see, sure. I got your files all here, but uh, if I may be candid, I never learned how to read. So if you fellas could go down the line and tell me a little bit about yourselves, that'd be much appreciated. Uh, I just got to know your names and let's say, uh, uh, your classes. Which class did you took in college? You, you all went to college, right? <laughs> what I'm saying, of course you did. And uh, while you're at it, why don't you give me a little rundown of your looks as well? Maybe my lack of uh, spectacles gives it away, but, uh, well, the truth is I'm actually legally blind. <laughs> That's why I never learned how to read, see? <laughs> So, uh, why don't we start with, uh, you, you on the left there, the, uh, uh, let me, let me adjust my lack of spectacles, uh, <laughs> yeah, you big one, right there. What the fuck? I'm, it's, I'm sorry, I need to, I assume you're talking to me, but, I, it, like, out of character, I need to get back in a character. <laughs> Die. <laughs> We broke Yono, and it's been <laughs> five minutes. We broke Yono with his own damn character. <laughs> you knew this character was coming. Well, I don't even. Oh, you're you're gonna it. love his token. <laughs> oh, my God. Um, what you see, uh, is essentially what you imagine a kobold would look like if he was just fed, like only protein. Like he, all he did his entire life was just on a protein drip and just manual labor. Like the moment he cracked out of the egg, and he did, yes, he did crack out of the egg. He's just been lifting heavy things. He's a bit larger than your average kobold, and he lo he looks like he just ate a barrel. He's huge. He's like, he's basically a wall in size and shape. Uh, <laughs> and he. I assume he responds. He says, "Hey, um, my name's Kelby. It's 
I don't know why I'm here, but I assume it's for something. Well, I assume you're here because you got hired by the Hook Cross. And yeah. um, just say you one slice of steak. Uh, you know, for me, some meat. <laughs> some meat. Oh, no. Man, my you need this protein. And and you watch as uh, uh, Micknick, uh, he pulls out a hot dog, like, a hot dog. like Just a being held hot by dog. his tail. Oh. As one does. Casual. And, and yeah. you can see it right there in the character art. Wow. I can? Thank Whoa. you. What character art? I don't see it. I, I think we might need to show it again. Yeah. Oh, oh, show yes, yes, of course, oh, of yes. course. <laughs> oh, there it is! Oh, I see it hot... now! I got that out of some dude's face! <laughs> I thought it was a mushroom. I... Alright, thanks for the hot dog. There you go, it's on the house. They throw away the bun and eat the hot dog. <laughs> I catch. I want to catch the bun and put it in my bag. Oh, who just got that? I. You, you, let's. We'll start nothing. Yeah, you. You with the. Uh, that guy. I don't really know what you got exactly. Was that the bun? I think it was the bun. I don't know. Hey, uh, what are you doing over there with uh, that big? Uh, what do you got? I'll um crock lockle and this and he the you see this this brawn or um brass sorry this brass kobold uh in one hand hold up a deep green very slimy very sick and very bloated looking frog and this is the screws um and you see that this this kobold uh is, you know, wrapped in bandages and rags, has a bunch of potions on his belt, has a big one in his hand, has a frying pan on his back, uh, and it looks like his right arm is skeletal and has been, like, oh. welded to the rest of his arm. Um, yeah. That seems normal. That's, wow. That, that's Crocklockle. <laughs> now, that is some fancy category you got there. Uh, tell me, you got anything enough of yours to keep claws moving past bedtime? Uh, the workers here get tired before the job's done. Oh, 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 yes, 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 yes. Give, give us a sec. And he puts the big bottle away, takes the frying pan off his back, takes the, scro the frog who just... As he squeezes the frog... And you watch as the frog, as just out of the frog's mouth, streams this bright neon pink liquid into the oh. frying pan. Crocolockle just tosses the frog, lands on his head, takes a lighter from under from uh, under his loincloth, just holds it under the pan, starts sizzling. He just pours it in a uh, pours it in a mug with gilded writing on it. Um, I don't know if anyone speaks the language that uh, that this mug has on it, Colby. Um, well, actually, Micknick is going to take a look at that, uh, and he's going to say, uh, <laughs> oh, no, that, that is good. Uh, oh, you're all right in my book. Uh, take my business card. I know a guy who knows a guy that can uh, show you a few things. Oh, yes! And he trades the mug for the business card. I write that back when you're done drinking there. <laughs> oh, oh, oh. Well, I don't want to separate you from this beauty. He's gonna, he's gonna, he's gonna take a long, like, satisfied sip. <laughs> Pleasure meeting you. Flat growls, I think. <laughs> no, no, you over there with the suit, I think. Uh, who might you be? <laughs> <laughs> what is this? <laughs> All right. So, uh, if you are not one of the people who is privy to the image that has just popped up on everyone's screen, you're looking at a green kobold, uh, who looks weirdly shiny and is wearing a business suit. Uh, and it's not in the image, but he does have a cane. Hello. Marvin. Marvin Shakespeare. Pleasure to meet you all. He offers a hand to everyone in turn. Uh, Micknick is going to reach out his uh, his big greasy claw. He's actually going to put away one of his cigars first. Um, by put away, I mean he's going to put it back into his mouth. 
Uh, as he, uh, you know, vice grips your hand. Pleasure to meet you, Mr. Shakespeare. Now, uh, wh what is it that you uh, bring to this here operation? You, aren't, you don't seem to be in um, kind of gear. No, uh, I generally work in insurance. I As you say that, my shoulders. <laughs> what? As you say that, his smile is going to drop. Is that so? Now, tell me, you don't happen to be affiliated with OSHA, do you? <laughs> no, no. Uh, my side of the insurance is kind of getting one over on OSHA. <laughs> oh, we're going to be good friends. I just know it. Ooh. He's going to uh, take a look at the other, uh, the two remaining folders. I guess that uh, seems to be everyone. I guess Misters number four and five got some snow between their toes because, well, passing on an opportunity like this takes some mighty cold feet. Let's get to it then. So, Micknick is going to give a cue to the nearby workers who uh, pry away at the uh, wooden boards and chunks of stone from the, marrow, from the narrow mouth of a tunnel. The workers who dug this passage sealed it up as soon as they uh, saw what was on the other side. It has remained closed, waiting for you. Until now. Before y'all go in, uh, you got any questions regarding uh, this uh, here operation? At last, what are we doing? Oh, well, it is... Uh, my fine that you are safe. The hook claws, uh, you might say we are a particularly influential company here in Absalom. Well, uh, we, uh, we got some stake in this here land, and turns out there's a treasure vault right here beneath the city. We've been scouting out in our excavators tracked it and opened it up and we cracked that geo right open. No one has set a foot in this vault until you. Oh, from Now, <clears throat> anything else? Sorry, you said you had a stake here? Where is it? Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. He's going to uh, reach into his pocket and pull out a... Uh, a medium rare steak. <laughs> yeah. He's gonna he's gonna toss it to you. Croc hey, wants to catch it. <laughs> <laughs> All right, uh, roll me a. Uh, let's see, would that be a? I guess. Dex, just flat dexterity check. Flat I dexterity. Think. Uh, that's an eight. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. So uh, that's going to. Um, you're gonna reach out to try to grab it, um, but uh, you know you're you're just shy of it. Uh, you know your your claw uh, hits the top of the um, of the uh, oh god, what's what's it called? The stake. That's right. That's what we're talking about. <laughs> your uh, your claw hits the tip of the stake, and it it flops <laughs> over, and it it lands in the dirt. Oh. Well, that he's is... gonna go pick that up. Crocklockle just sort of shakes his hand, the bone hand that he tried to grab that with. I'm going to recalibrate this thing or something. God damn it. Uh, it seems you might have to. You, you watch it. as, like, strange, clear fluids just start dripping off the hand. Oh. My that friend, is... did you, uh, use a handkerchief? No. A lot of pocket square? No. I tuck back in my pocket square. <laughs> if you're sure. Crock lock is all over the shore. Confidence you're is good. You're my kind of guy, Crock Lockle. Oh, thank you. All right. Arco, let's in go. In that case. So, yeah, let's go. you all make your way forward. From where you stand, I'm a medium verse steak to my inventory, by the way. <laughs> very well. I From where you stand, just eat it. But okay. Also, Crocklock has wow. made very sure to get his mug back. Oh, oh, yes, yes, yes. He, uh, you know, uh, Micknick slides it back across the table towards you. 
Now, from where you stand, uh, you can see rich fabric on hangers, exquisite vases, and wooden crates with unknown prizes inside. Uh, just a fraction of this wealth could enable the Hook Claws to live in more comfort than they have in generations. But Hook Claws are smart, and they know when things are too good to be true. And that is where you come in. Secure the chamber, Tunnel Master Nick Nick barks. Once you ensure the treasure, the treasure trove is safe, the Hook Claws can claim its valuables. Standard Hook Claw has it pay first pick of anything you'll find up to what you can carry. And be careful. We care about profit, but above all, we care about safety. And then you guys are going to march your ways in, and the door behind you seals, leaving you in darkness. You are sealed in to darkness. Well, this is mildly terrifying. I hope, uh, I know you guys all have dark vision, but, uh, I hope you brought a torch for the sake of uh, color and all that. I mean, I... I don't know about you guys, but I, uh... What's color? I didn't that, bring anything. my strange friend, um... is a confusing question for one such as yourself. <laughs> I I actually did bring What's that thing, supposed to mean? You make brightly colored things as a so, joke. <laughs> As you enter this uh, treasure vault, uh, the familiar smell of earth and musty neglect wafts across your nostrils uh, as you scuttle through the dirt tunnel and into the chamber. From here, you can see past the curtains of rich fabric and giant wooden crates into the rest of the room. Stacks of books and other uh, luxury items are haphazardly crammed onto massive wooden shelves, preserved from mold despite their clear abandonment. Immense piles of furniture, rich with intricate carvings and plush cushions, have been jammed up against the walls. Chests with glittering rocks, uh, with glittering locks, mind you, my mistake, lie on the floor, coated with dust. A pile of casks, sacks, and barrels forms a looming barricade across the western end of the room, which blocks the rest of the chamber from view. Oh, How would you like to proceed? Shalmul. Uh, where's where's the nearest? Uh, I'm just gonna. Crocklockles are gonna go for this crate immediately. Oh, You're going just immediately going for that crate. I'm actually gonna <laughs> leap on top of that one and go for the one next to it. Oh, okay. <laughs> God. All right. Uh, make me. Sir, a you may want to hold off. <laughs> no, go ahead. Uh, make me an oh. investigation check. That doesn't exist. <laughs> <laughs> Shit. Uh, he, shit, sorry. I believe sorry. the answer is you make a perception check for me. <laughs> yes, yes, I I will make you a perception check. Yes. This uh, is what we put camp through every time, I feel like. <laughs> yes. <laughs> so I'm rolling your perception? Yes. So plus right. three. Okay, so as you leap onto uh, this chest here, uh, you, you tear it open. Uh sending splinters flying and well you don't find much aside from just old books worn toys and uh dolls clothing shoes uh some of those shoes uh you know might be small enough to fit on one of your toes um you said there's dolls <laughs> yes there are dolls crocklockle is gonna pick up a doll uh, okay he's uh -oh. gonna rip its hair off Okay. And he's gonna toss the rest of it over his shoulder. And then he's gonna shove the hair into his uh, one of his pouches. That's a surprise tool that will help us later. I'm not sure that's true. That is All right. Stressful. Okay. I'm gonna uh... step gently over the uh, doll corpse. Let me just How add that you to guys? your inventory. But, uh... That's all right. I got it. I got it. I'm sorry, oh, you but I feel like it's a little right, dark in here. I'm gonna, uh, I'm gonna light a torch real quick. Well, well, if you had a torch, I mean, I'm sorry. I, uh, I, uh, it's uh, mine got slipped. You know. Was there anything else that I saw in the crate? <laughs> there, uh, so you didn't see anything else in the crate. Uh, mm -hmm. but as you were up there, you did notice a, a bit of a strange 
shine coming from uh, oh. the bed over uh, in the northwest corner. Shine. I see a channel. I'm gonna go get it. Can I? Croc Lock will work? leap. You've got to turn it on, just like always. <laughs> Croc Lock will leaps over the crate and starts running. Uh, is anyone? Marvin is anybody is going to stop him? Marvin I, is trying to chase after. Him. Knock that yeah, off. Don't save, do that. Save. Don't do that. Croc Lock has I, I leapt onto the, the table next to the bed. He is now next to the bed. Oh. All right. Um, Perhaps we should as, proceed with some more caution. Well, Croc Lock you, turns around. Fuck you! I want the channel. Well, and as I would you prefer not to die, sir. As you stand oh. next to the bed, um, I need you to make a reflex save for me. Oh boy, nat twenty plus oh. seven. Plus. Okay. Uh, as you uh, you know, sit or stand up next to the bed, um, you can hear something scurrying, and ah, a pair fuck. of jaws uh, reach out from uh, beneath the bed, ah! and you're able to just barely jump out of the way before they catch you. As, what the fuck? As, wait, where'd, the, where'd it go? Uh-oh. There we go, that was weird. As some Ooh. very, very bright beetles uh, emerge from under the bed, and I need you all Roll initiative. All right. <gasps> oh. What the fuck? I said <laughs> don't do that. Oh dear. All right. Um, are we just using perception? Yeah, just perception. All right. Oh wait. Oh, I, shit. I, I made a perception check by accident. <laughs> oh no. Just, I got an 18. You add me as an 18. All right. Colby, do you know how to add them manually? Uh, Right-click, awesome. update, participant. There we go. And so that is 18, you said? Yeah, 18. Wonderful. <laughs> We're all got 18. <laughs> oh, beautiful. Okay. Well, uh, to start, um, I am going to... Uh, which one actually is it? Ah, it's this one. Okay. So, the Flash Beetle over here uh, is going to begin by uh, crawling underneath the bed uh, and going right over here to you, Crocolockle. And so, it is going to go ahead and, for its second action, Uh, it's going to do a light flash. <gasps> uh, so, uh, all creatures uh, in the aura, which uh, is... Uh, the, what is the... Oh, 10 feet. Okay. Uh, so, I guess in this case, that would just be croc -a lock Okay. What do I need to make? Fortitude save. All right. Uh, that is an, uh, 24. Oh. All right, uh, then nothing happens. You're, you're able to shield your eyes just as this uh, bug uh, flashes, and then it's going to, uh, for its final action, make a melee strike against you. All so, right. does a 25 hit? 25, that is a critical hit. Okay, I, I Ooh. apologize. Ooh, four points of uh, piercing damage. Goddamn, there goes all my stamina. Oh, ah! no. All right, and then uh, that is this beetle's turn. So uh, the next beetle uh, is actually going to, seeing that its two allies are next to Crocolockle already, uh, it's going to go ahead and stride over here. <gasps> and then it is also going to make a uh, uh, light flash action. Oh boy. Uh oh. Uh, which will only affect Marvin. <laughs> and that's a nat one. Oh! oh all right. Uh, you are dazzled for the next minute. Ow. That's on brand. Okay. Um, and then 
it is going to... Uh, use its last action to uh, stride again, uh, crawling underneath the table right there. Flash Beetle number three, uh, right on top of uh, the one that attacked uh, your feet, uh, Croc Lockle. Yeah. I can hear now, by the way. <laughs> oh, wonderful. <laughs> That's good uh, news. It's going to make a light flash against you. Okay. Uh, that's a 10. All right. Uh, that is a failure. So you are also dazzled for the next minute. Lovely. Um, and then uh, I forgot to do this last time because uh, I realized that friendly fire exists. Uh, so I'm going to have this flash beetle also make uh, the fortitude save. Right next to its friend. And that's a 20, so that's fine. Uh, so, Cam, uh, it's then going to make a mandible strike against you. Okay. That's another 25. Well, that's <laughs> another crit. <laughs> oh, my God. That's another four points of piercing. All right. So it's like, it's what it's like to be on the receiving end, man. <laughs> you act as though I expected anything else. Yeah. <laughs> I'm literally not wearing any armor. <laughs> oh my gosh. Why right. are you like this? What do you mean? Uh, and then it has one action remaining. Um, and it's going to... Well, shit, it's going to attack you again. All right. And that's a 10. That is a miss. All right. So its mandibles uh, jut out at you. Um, and oddly enough... Uh, it's like your leg is so thin that the mandibles like <laughs> clack like just perfectly to where they hit each other, but not your leg. Ha <laughs> ha! This is the benefit of not oodling. Uh, and <laughs> in response, uh, the beetle's gonna go. Well, you can talk? Wow. Uh, Croc Lockle, it's your turn. All right. <laughs> uh, Croc Lockle is going to start out by uh, taking an action to scamper, which gives me a plus five to my movement speed and a plus two to my AC against reactions triggered by this movement. So I'm oh. gonna move a full 30 feet over there. Now, is that an effect I should apply to you? No, it's fine. Um, okay. Because it ends the second I'm done scampering. Um, Croc Lockle is then going to uh, take out a, um, it's going to take out an alchemist fire mm. and uh, use quick bomber to take it out and throw it in the same action. Um, okay. And it is outside of my range increment by a little bit, so I'm going to take a penalty from that. Okay. Um, would you like to just, because we're down a player, um, would you nah, like it's to fine. It's a minus. Okay. It's a minus two penalty. It's not a big deal. Okay. Um, all right. Uh, that is going, <laughs> that's going to be an eight to hit with an no. alchemist fire. So I'm going to deal, uh, one damage to each of, uh, I'm aiming at this one, by the way. So I'm, okay. uh, I'm going to deal one damage to that one and the one next to it. Okay. Um, shut! uh, Croc Lockle is then going to take his final action to um, Quick Bomber. A, I can do that multiple times. Yeah, I can do that multiple times for turn. To Quick Bomber a uh, Frost Vial at the same, the same fella. Mm. Um, that one is going to be a 16 to hit. That succeeds. Hell yeah. All right. So uh, it is going to take. Uh, all right. One. So both of them take one point of splash damage. And uh, the main one takes three points of cold. Uh, yeah. Splash cold damage. And then the main one takes three points of cold damage. Uh, and let me double check the exact effects of a frost file. 
Wait, um, did they both take three points? Or they just both the take one, point? and then the main okay. one takes an additional three points. Uh, and the main target okay. also takes a minus foot, five foot penalty. Um, so I don't have permission to add it, but it's a minus foot, five foot penalty to its speed. Um, okay. Uh, this thing is looking uh, pretty bad. Um, how, by the way, is bloodied a specific effect? No. Bloodied is something that I made up. <laughs> ah, I see. It's uh, the, yeah. But yeah, this thing, uh, its shell is uh, looking pretty cracked. All right. Um, I'm just realizing I forgot to roll my dazzled checks, but I rolled tens on both, so. All right. Uh, oh, uh, is that, is it not just for a straight minute? When you when you're dazzled, you have to roll a DC five flat check every time you try to attack something. Oh, oh yes 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 I see. But I, I roll I just rolled those and they were tens. Um, all right, okay, that's uh, that's my turn. Okay, uh, next up is uh, Kobe. All right, um, I assume this one down here is uh, uh, is it under the table. Can I go and try and flank that thing? Uh, it is currently under the table, yes. Okay, okay. How so you could try, but you would have to, uh, you'd have to crawl under. Ah, uh, okay, okay. Ooh, ooh, ooh. Um, uh, you know, Colby's gonna do the normal thing. He's gonna rage! Oh, okay. All right, uh, one action rage. Uh, that is... That gives me, what does it give me? I don't, I need <laughs> it gives All right. you rage. All right, I am. There we go. All right, you I have are, rage. And now, now, what does your rage happen to look like? Uh, I just, I, you know, like that meme where the kid like is like trying to bulge a vein on his forehead, like literally that. Just like his arms just <laughs> become even more massive than they usually are, and he just lets out a, ah! and um, yeah, that's what he does. And lovely, he's, lovely. Yeah. He's just essentially just good old fashioned anger. Uh, okay. Um, now here's the thing. I don't know if this, uh, can I use a free action to drop a, I can use a free action to drop something, right? I believe so. Yeah. Yes. So I'm just gonna, I'm just, as, as part of the rage, he's gonna throw the torch on the ground. Um, <laughs> so I have both hands free. And, uh, okay. Let me yeah. put that light source there. Yeah. All right. Uh, what is the radius on the torch? It, don't worry about it. it Twenty it, foot. It's, it turns off. I guess I imagine it does. It's not lit anymore if you throw it to the ground. Uh, you know what? That's true. Yeah. Don't worry about you it. Know, yeah. It's, it's the, for the flavor, torch, right? Yeah. The torch falls to the floor, and it uh, you know, hitters out. I throw with such force. It just <laughs> you goes shatter out. the uh, torch against the ground. <laughs> and literally, embers and sparks go flying. <laughs> As if we did add to the fire in this room already, goodness. Uh, and he's gonna, um, he's gonna fucking attack this guy. Uh, right. just, um, uh, unarmed attack fists. Uh, first attack going in. Uh, 15 to hit. Uh, that succeeds. Roll damage. Alright, uh, I believe because I'm raging at 1d10, right? I believe so. Yes, because I am. I have. I have my. What's that? Animal instinct. I'm aping out right now. Uh, how do I change that? Because <laughs> I. Well, I, I think it. Okay. Since you have the effect, it should be automatically applied. Rage it's is not. goofy. Rage, Rage is, is goofy. goofy. Yeah. yeah. Okay. Just and try to did. try to tick it off, or just do the math with your brain. All right. Uh, yeah. I'll just do. It's just the. It's a 1d10 plus 5, so... Slash R, 1d10 plus 5. Okay, I'm rolling damage. Uh, I oh roll my 13 God. points of damage. God damn. Uh, yeah, so... You, uh... This beetle watches as you... As this... You look like you're trying to bulge a vein out of your forehead. Uh, and then before it has a moment to react, your fist uh, comes swinging out. Uh, you hit it square in the head, uh, and the thing, it fucking explodes. <laughs> oh my gosh. Like, this thing, it is deader than dead. Oh. 
Like you, you have splattered this bug all over the floor. <laughs> oh God. Mouse. All right. <gasps> um, I'm going to, with my final action, uh, run uh, by full movement at these, to stand right in front of this guy. Just, just like, Full barrel, like Arnold Schwarzenegger oh first God. movie rod, right? Go, 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 go. It's gonna. <laughs> That's my turn. All free action. All right. Next up is Marvin. Okay, I'm gonna use devise a stratagem on this fellow. I think. Okay, dope. Uh, let me pull that up to see exactly how it works. I just put it in the thing. Okay. Um, I believe what you do then is roll a d20. Yes. Do I roll it with my... So this is the question I have. Do I roll it with my intelligence modifier i think it's just a flat d20 uh if you strike the chosen creature later this round you must use the result of the roll you made for your strikes attack roll instead of rolling right but then it says when you make the substitution you can also add your intelligence modifier to your attack roll instead of using your strength or dexterity provided your strike uses an agile or finesse melee weapon so so i think what it's saying is that you're essentially seeing if you can make the hit before you make the attack. Oh, so you okay. devise a stratagem. You can see if you're going to make the attack. Because you're essentially just rolling and making an attack roll. Just a flat attack roll. Okay. Um, and then when you attack the creature, uh, instead of using your strength and dexterity modifier for the damage, you can use your intelligence modifier. Oh, okay. Uh, sorry. Uh, for your attack roll, not your damage roll. My attack roll is an 18. Or my uh, devise a strategy okay. roll is an 18. Okay. Um, I don't believe I can actually tell you uh, what that would do, but uh, use your best judgment. Fair enough. Um, okay. I am going to go here and then attack that gentleman. Now, I have a quick question for you. Yes. Uh, were you all... Lore-wise, were you already holding your sword cane, or did you just yes. now draw it during this turn? Uh, I had it. Okay, okay. Uh, then go ahead and... Uh, I guess roll damage. Well, okay. flat check. Dazzled. Oh, yes, that's right. I apologize. Make a uh, flat check for me. Five. Five? Uh, that succeeds, I believe. Yep. <laughs> yep. Meets, Thank it. You, Meets it or exceeds it. Gotcha. All right. Yeah, so uh, go ahead and roll damage for me. That is eight points of damage. Um. All right. Well, this guy uh, as well. Uh, which one was it that you attacked? Uh, let me... It's this one right in front of me. That one? Yep. Uh, this thing was already on Death's Door. Oh, dear. It, it, it also splatters, uh, <laughs> leaving bioluminescent goo uh, on your sword and just everywhere, really. Oh, I love bioluminescent goo. That's it's, awesome. It's great, isn't it? And I believe that's your turn? It is. Okay, uh, then that comes to this flash beetle over here, uh, which is going to take its first action to stride. Uh, let me just check its speed again real quick. Perfect. It's going to go over here and then up to here, uh, you know, moving around you. And then it is going to light flash once again. So, uh, Marvin, I believe that doesn't do anything for you, but, um, Kelby, I need you to make a, uh, uh, fortitude save for me. I'm checking. Does it affect me, Dazzle? Yes. 
Yeah. yeah it does. If you're affected no. by visual conditions, yes. Yeah. You have eyes. No, I'll roll forward tune, right? Yep. Yep. Oh, it's gonna hurt. Eight. Oh, no. that Ooh. is a failure. Oh, so you I'm are blind. blinded as this creature comes in. Uh, and it flashes its, uh, you know, very, very bright wings at you. Uh, and then with its final action, it's going to make an attack against uh, Marvin. Which is a 12. That does not hit. All right. Then that is this beetle's turn. Which brings us to this guy over here, um, which is going to make an attack against Kelby. Oh no! That's 14. a fourteen. Doesn't hit. Ah, all right. It's going to make another one. That's a seven. seven doesn't hit. And that's going to make a third and final attack, which is also so, a nope. seven. Ouch. All right. Uh, which is the end of that creature's turn. Which brings us back to Croc Lockle. <laughs> All right. Croc Lockle is going to start out by uh, quick bombering a bottle lightning uh, at oh. this one. And uh, because oh. I'm a bomber, I can choose to not deal splash damage to anyone other than the target creature, so this Ooh. will not deal any damage to Marvin or Kelby. All right, oh uh, before you do that, Thank you. make a flat check. Flat check, that is a nine. That succeeds, go ahead. All right, that is a 21 to hit. Oh my God. Yeah, uh, roll damage. All right, so that is going to be, uh, God damn. Uh, six points of damage from the die plus one point of splash damage. Um, uh, and let me double check mm -hmm. the uh, effects of bottle lightning. Uh, it is off guard until the start of my next turn. Well, it is certainly off guard um, because <laughs> as you throw this bottle of lightning uh, at the beetle, it, uh, it just so happens to land, uh, you know, right underneath. It's, it's like, it's like uh, flapping its wings to, you know, like readjust them. Uh, right as you're throwing that, the bottle lightning lands underneath the wing, uh, and this thing explodes. <laughs> All right. Um, uh, Croc Lockle is then going to do a little run there, 25 feet, and then as final action is going to uh, pull out his frying pan. And that's the end of my turn. Beautiful. Kelby, uh -oh. it's up to you. Yes, uh, there's one left in front of me, so he's just gonna, he's gonna just fucking yell at the top of his lungs, just an awful, horrifying, like, raging scream, and he's gonna just, like, start wailing on him. Uh, unarmed attack. Uh, let's okay. do this. Okay, uh, make a flat check. Flat check, yeah, because he can't see. He's just, like, yeah. randomly, uh... Blind rage. Blind rage, literally blind rage. Uh, nine. Uh, that is a failure. Oh, the flat check. Oh, sorry, sorry. Oh my god, I don't know what. Yeah, no, that succeeds. DC five. <laughs> sorry, DC I, five. I, I, I was thinking attack roll. <laughs> no, that comes after I succeed. This. Yeah, your, your vision All focuses, right, and you can see this this little tiny beetle cowering in front of you. Ah. Uh. <laughs> Twenty-five to hit. <laughs> kill! 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 Okay, that is a critical. <laughs> okay. Um, how would you like to do this? Uh, yeah, wait, let me roll this damage first. <laughs> I'm, I'm rolling damage. Right now, this thing is <laughs> unrecognizable. Uh, plus, I believe it's plus seven, right? Because I got plus two for, for rage, plus two damage. Yeah, I think so. Um, yeah, was that 34 <laughs> points of damage I just pulled? Oh my God. Yeah. yeah. I just, I just, it has two, I assume two antennae or one of those things. Uh, I don't, 
I think those are just uh, horns. I don't think those oh, are animals. Okay, antenna. Just, I think those are antenna. antenna. He just like can you show us the full art real quick? Yeah, full art, please. Uh, yes, yeah, I can show you the full art in just one second. <laughs> Look at that! Oh, yeah, they're hordes. They're hordes. Look at that as dead it, fucker. <laughs> as he, <laughs> as the beetle tries and tackles Kelby, Kelby just grabs one of the antennae and just with his right fist just starts pounding his head and just keeps keep pounding and pounding and pounding until it's basically just pasting the thing. And he still keeps going until it's like a kind of uncomfortable amount of pasting. And he still keeps going. Crocolockle keeps bouncing up and down. Kill! 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 It's all it does is just encouraging him in the blind rage, just pasting the thing. Keep pushing, keep pushing. And I, what's the ground made of? I assume he's starting to make cracks on the ground before he finally <laughs> fades out of his rage. My good man, <sighs> it's dead. Yeah. Um. Yeah. My right leg is still man. alive. I think you're going to keep going. Oh shit! It's still alive, and he no, still no, gets a couple dead. more kicks. Are we? Are we out stop, of initiative stop. now? He's already out dead. Of we are, in fact, out <laughs> of right, so initiative. As, as Kelby is continuing to beat the shit out of this corpse, Crocklockle is going to scoop up the guts of one of the other ones in his pan. Oh no! Oh. And start Lord. pan frying it with his lighter. <laughs> oh no! <laughs> He's gonna Good take God. the he's gonna take the frog and just squeeze some like horrible, horrible brown liquid all over it. Oh my god. Every day I get slightly more afraid. Every second I get slightly more afraid of you, Cam. <laughs> I, I also should know that this smells horrible, even by cobalt standards. <laughs> oh, oh, I can imagine. It's like I don't think it's you like, need to say it. It's like the entire city dump is in your nose right now. Oh. <laughs> and you, you watch as Crocklockle just gentleman, dumps it all down his throat. He <gasps> wants to vomit. Oh, Lord. Crocklockle lips, licks his lips. <laughs> all right. Well, let's just take a sec there, because I, I kind of need to take a breather. Yeah, we'll, we'll I say that. I can imagine you would what? after eating that. Oh, that was fun! W would you say that you all take a minute? Yeah, take a little take a little breather. Little breather boy. Right. Yeah, let's take a minute. To, to restore the stamina, spend a resolve point, restore the stamina. Mm -hmm. And also get rid of your dazzled. You, you yeah. let your eyes uh, readjust. <laughs> uh, you actually notice uh, as you do so that the bioluminescent guts of these beetles uh, are still active. They, ha they haven't stopped. Oh, uh, so my stomach is not glowing now. <laughs> oh, no. Are you glowing through your your stomach? Um, Lass! <laughs> it's just like, lighting up the filthy bandages that he's wrapped in. This makes um absolutely uh zero difference, but um I'm going to give you a uh five foot <laughs> <laughs> until they're digested. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I think I, I, think think I did that, that right. Actually, this is a permanent condition now. Yeah. Crocolock close our kid with us. <laughs> All right. I hope we don't need any stealth, but okay. What? What is that word? <laughs> yeah. Crocolock doesn't I... know how to be quiet. Crocolock is trained in stealth, but does not know what that means. Crocolock, do you have any friends? Any family? He. <laughs> Beams at you, pulls out the frog. The scrolls. I see. And uh, Crocodile, what what would happen to the poor Squeeze if you were to, you know, unfortunately die? As you're saying this, Crocodile is licking the Squeeze. <laughs> huh? Sorry, I lost focus. What you were saying wasn't very interesting. Well, uh, if something were to happen to you, what would happen to the Squeeze? Crocklockle shrugs. I don't know, it wouldn't be my problem at that point, would it? But wouldn't I... you like to do something to protect the squeeze? Crocklockle can... goes over to the bed and starts looting. Okay, um, make a perception check. Actually, I'm, I, I'm going to make it for you. Yes. Uh, 19, you find jack shit. Can I take that? Now, there's I'm nothing sorry. underneath can, that can, bed. Can I take the blanket? I'm sorry. You can take but, uh... the blanket. Yes. <laughs> 
I'm getting so much payback right now and it feels so good. <laughs> Croc Luckle takes the blanket, wraps it around his head, starts chewing on it. I see. <laughs> I'm sorry. I'm sorry, Cam, for all the things we've done to you. I'm okay, not. what's next? <laughs> he says as he's scooping more bug guts into his bag. <laughs> well, I really, um... I really cannot express how little I regret anything we've ever done to Cameron in this moment. <laughs> <laughs> uh, so, well, you look around, um, and all of you can uh, plainly see. that um, right uh, impeding your path is a very large just wall of junk like even even these uh, this bed and table over here um, yeah you can't get through that it's just like it's, it's just so precariously positioned that um, it's very uncomfortable to uh, you know try to get over uh, of course you can try but um you've got a you got a big wall to try and get through do i see this table down here yes crocklocka wants to run over to the table and look at it okay you look at the table what do i see a table what's on the table there's just junk it's like even if, like, there was important stuff on there, I doubt Crocklocka would be able to read it. Uh, not because is going to stand Wait. on the table and try to read. Okay. Um, I would like to point out, uh, I should have uh, mentioned this with my initial assessment, um, but this this wall is seven feet high and ten feet wide. Good day. Where is it? Can, can, you, can you... The crates, I think. This, crates, this right okay. here. This is the main wall. Uh, it extends through here. But really, this this is the main blockage. I'm sorry, it's blocking what right now? Your path forward. You you cannot get okay, through okay. at all until you okay, deal okay. with this. All right. Okay. Okay. I see. I see. I see. Okay. Hey, strong man, you want to start moving boxes? Yeah, I'll do that. And he starts punching the boxes. Uh. Okay. That's not what moving means. <laughs> Um, All right, what am I rolling? <laughs> um, <laughs> okay. Um, How many hit points does this thing have? Is this bloodied yet? <laughs> go ahead and mortal? make an attack roll. All right. As he so does that, Crocklock will I... finish his eating the blanket. Lovely. Did uh, I misspeak, or did he... Did he take the word move to mean... Eat the boxes. Crocklockle shrugs at you. Well, uh, oh, I, I rolled an 18. I, I actually rolled damage by accident, but well, I got 18. <laughs> here's the thing. That succeeds. Um, okay. But before you roll damage. Yeah, sorry. Uh, this precarious pile is going to uh, collapse as a reaction. <gasps> oh! So as you punch the boxes... Excuse me? Uh, this, you know, high stack oh. of, uh, you know, crates and junk and all that, it, uh, it falls down onto you. Oh! Uh, so, um, uh, Kelby and Crocklockle. Oh, oh shit. no! I need you both to make reflex saves. Reflex is save. That is a 12 from Crocklockle. That's a 13 from, that's a 13. So, you, uh, both fail. Shit. Oh. And oh. Now, uh, you're each going to take 2d8 bludgeoning damage. Oh my god. 2d8! <laughs> Sorry, I just, heard a, I just heard a noise upstairs. Pretty sure it was just the dogs. <laughs> um, so, uh, Kelby, that's going to be six points of bludgeoning damage. And Crocklockle, that's going to be four. Damn it, my stamina is going again. I mean, uh, I wasn't hit that previous thing. And um, 
as uh, it collapses, um... <laughs> um, I'm sorry. You notice, in the midst of of all of that, you you hear something, you very very very, very faint. Uh, it's it's weird. You 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 barely hear it. Um, it's almost like a giggle in the wind. They releasing school children down here? You know, I've heard about these weird flesh of Bobo Centaur things that make noises like that. Yeah, it's actually uh, her, a uh, Hermanthony uh, <laughs> comes up, and it beats you all to death. Whoa! Yeah. Um, now... I'm trying to see uh, if this actually affects the hazard. Like, it, it collapsing. I'm going to assume that it does it doesn't say anything you know in either direction about it um but i'm going to assume that uh you guys are now able to climb over this uh now collapsed uh, bunch of boxes so i'm just gonna oop. Can, well before we do that can i see the source of the giggling not at all. You you just hear it. Can we? Uh, okay, can we... I don't want to climb over yet. Can we take? Doc like will learn somewhat of a lesson. All right. Can we take a right. minute? I'll take a minute and restore my stamina using a resolve point. <laughs> okay. Yeah. Go right ahead. I've never all done right. that we, actually. We, we will sit enough. here for ten minutes and restore our result. Our uh, oh, stamina. is it like ten minutes? Does it take okay. ten minutes. Okay. Yeah, it's ten minutes. Oh, okay. Oh, okay. Unless Colby rules so, otherwise. So we we resolve. So we still have, I, So resolve is only done at a long rest, right? We get our resolve points back on a long rest, yes. Oh, okay, okay. So I'm, I'm still at free resolve. Okay, yeah. perfect. What is that sound? Sorry, I'm... Um, I don't know. Nothing. Who knows what that Why is? Why do I hear weird slapping sounds? Why do I hear strange slapping um, noises? Anyway. Oh, that's in the game. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, there are people upstairs in your house, and they're just slapping each other. I mean, there, there are so people weird. upstairs in my house, and I wouldn't entirely put it past, past my parents to start slapping each other sometimes, so. Oh, God. <laughs> you should clarify that's a joke before that someone's is a joke. just calling. Yeah, before, <laughs> is a joke. Before that's someone calls CPS on your ass? That was not Wait. intended to be okay, a joke. He's a 23-year-old man. I, know. I don't think that CPS can do anything for him. Thank you for the joke, yes. Anyways. Oh Anyways. Um, I'm sorry, how old are you? Uh, 23. Oh, so, sorry, you're on your uh, own there, pal. You guys were resting, correct? Yeah. Okay. <gasps> but, oh, wait, I just Mar got muted. What the hell? Where, where is Marvin? I'm just standing here. Oh, who just... Oh, there you are. I lost track of you. Well, Croc Lockle is resting, he's wiping up the goop on his skeletal arm with his bandages. Mmm, yummy. Sir, what's what's your deal? Where was it, Marvin? Yes, hello. Hi, what's your deal? I sell insurance. As you guys are resting here, contemplating uh, what to do upon the uh, destruction of this uh, barricade, you hear the pitter patter of claws uh, against uh, the stone tiles. You know, further back. Back from where you came, uh, and you hear in the distance, uh, Micknick, uh, saying, Well, well, look who it is. Y'all got your fourth coming in right away. Um, but you hear it very faintly because he's quite a bit of ways away. Um, and you think it sounds like he has food in his mouth. Uh, but running in, you see, da 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 da, or you possibly see. Uh, this uh, kobold running in. So, uh, Jacob, you should have control of your token if you just want to bring yourself on down to the rest of the crew and uh, introduce yourself. Wow, friend! <sighs> I'm sorry, I'm late. Did I miss anything? Well, we killed a bunch of bugs. You killed a bunch of what now? Bugs! I just... <laughs> I Holy point at the bioluminescent spatter everywhere. The bloody hell is that? The bugs. 
Colby, can you can you show us his art real fast again? Mm-hmm. So uh, you see before you. Hold on, I think I feel like Mr. Perez needs to describe himself here. Come yeah, on. you see before you yeah. this man. You so why don't you, you see okay. before <laughs> You Give us see a little before me a, a copper-colored kobold uh, holding a giant cannon. Uh, he, uh, basically like a hand-sized cannon. A hand cannon, if you will. Uh, he is wearing an eye patch, and you can't help but notice that uh, he has this weird fungal-type growth growing out of his forehead um, for reasons that you do not understand, and nor does he. Uh... In fact, he seems almost oblivious to its existence. <laughs> Crocolocle is going to leap off the table and run over to this stranger. Crocolocle is going to scamper on over to, to this new friend. And he's going to get real close. And Colby, can you can you pull up my art real quick so that Jacob can mm -hmm. see it? You see before you, Jacob. This man. And we should note that um, currently his stomach is glowing faintly um, and he's holding a frog in one hand and he, he's going to put the frog on his head he's going to go up to you um, what's your name? Sparky Spartle he's going to grab your face he's going to bring you real close to him what's this on your face? We'll swat on my face. <laughs> He's gonna bite a bit of the mushroom off. Mate, what are you doing? You're casting. <laughs> what, what? What's that you're biting? Snack. What did? What is the snack? Where's the snack? On my mouth. Where uh, did you bite you from? Jake, Jacob, I have a question for you. <laughs> yeah. Is that safe to eat? Um, he is oblivious to it. <laughs> so he you does not know. You should have to flip In a fact, coin to find out if it's safe it or there. not safe to eat. But Jacob Perez, is it safe to eat? <laughs> Probably. Oh, wow. Okay. <laughs> yes? Okay. All right. Yeah, yeah. you're fine. It's not like <laughs> the last of a situation, is it? That's good. All right. Moving yeah, on. That's my knowledge. All right. So um, with this uh, collapsed, uh, you know, wall that was once in front of you uh, now being collapsed, as it is a collapsed wall, mm -hmm. uh, you guys are free to, uh, you know, just carefully... Uh, crawl your way over. Someone else will go first this time. I went first yeah. last time. I'm doing it. Just follow close behind me. By the way, oh. nice to meet you, Sparky. I'm Kelby. All right. I'm going to move you up. <laughs> and there you go. Who's next? Croc I'm will trying next. to go. There's a wall, uh, there's so a wall there. Oh, okay. Yeah. And then, Marvin, I'm going to move you over. Uh, not Marvin. Uh, Sparky, I'm going to move you all the way over here. Okay. So, you all uh, make your way over this collapsed wall. And uh, it places you into this fairly nice, actually, hallway. Uh, it's relatively clear of junk. You know, it's a, it's a wide open space. Uh, allowing you to... Uh, you know, move further into this house. And you actually see before you uh, two rooms uh, to the west. Um, there are doors wedged open with fungus and mushrooms just growing incessantly. Oh, dear. <laughs> Is this where you got that one? He says to Sparky. This might be your department, sir. I say to Sparky. What was the problem that they were having? 
There's mushrooms in front of us. There's mushrooms in front of you. Well, why would that be? Why would that be for my department? I don't know what you're talking about. I don't have anything to do with mushrooms. So, uh, you don't actually know if that thing growing out of your head is, you know, a mushroom? Crocklockle's gonna bite another piece my... off. <laughs> what thing growing out of my head? There's something growing out of my head? Uh-huh. What do you mean there's something growing out of my head? What are you talking about? He Don't worry about he, it. He, he starts frantically looking for a mirror. Sleep with one eye open tonight. <laughs> what the fuck does that mean? What the fuck does that mean? Uh, that that means what I said. Okay, go first. Nergal? Oh, I don't know what you're on about. He starts frantically, he starts even more frantically looking for a mirror. Crocklockle takes a frog out of his pocket and is going to squeeze it onto the mushroom. It, the, the mushroom on his head? Yes, and he, it, there's going to be red goop that falls out of the frog. Oh, as Crocklock this... takes another bite. <laughs> Man, why Poor did you start squeezing a frog well, over my head? All the scrolls! Oh, Marvin. He's like, as you move, like, like, <laughs> like, 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 whacking his hands away. Marvin, as you move a little closer, um, you, you hear this, this, like, this whooshing past you as, um, something just barely misses you, um, Actually, I can't even say that it barely misses you. Uh, it it it's like this big popping, um, and it flies past you. And you know, fo- being the investigator that you are, following the trajectory backwards, uh, you see that it came from from this thing. Can you guys can you can you see I it? I can see it. Yeah. What the uh, fuck? Wonderful. It came from. Uh, it's it's very it. dark. We've been able to see it the whole time. I think. Oh, what the fuck <laughs> is uh, that? This thing, oh, oh my god! That? Really? Oh, yeah. I. Oh. Wow! I thought it was hidden. <laughs> no. Oh, that's. <laughs> ah. That's the devil. Anyways, um, I need you all to roll initiative. <gasps> oh, from. I don't think he's very friendly. Well, uh, in response, it's going to go. <laughs> what what language was that? Is it a language that I know? N- I don't think so. Whoa, player character on the battlefield? Yup, player character <laughs> is on the shit. battlefield. Oh, whoa. Oh, yeah, whoa. My god. whoa, oh my god. Whoa, why is whoa. my name not it's right? It's him. It's him, player character. <laughs> from Hit Game, Pathfinder 2nd Edition. <laughs> <laughs> Alright, let's game gamers. Player- Oh, All right, right, gamers. Oh, uh, let's get some. Let's get some proper tunes for this. Or some proper jams. Oh. All right. So Whoa. actually, first up is uh, this guy, which um, this little mushroom man. He's going to spend his first action, actually, um, striding. He's going to scamper down. Uh, to this little patch of mushrooms over here. Uh, and then he's going to use his uh, chain shape action. Oh, what? Uh oh. Uh, hang on, let me let me put that in. And then I'm trying to figure out exactly how this ability works. Uh, so it is going to. Yeah, it's going to change into a small, giant mushroom. A small, a giant, small mushroom. giant mushroom. That's, right. that's I don't what, know what it that says. Means, and it terrifies me. Interesting. So it's a giant mushroom. Small. But it's, but it's small. I see. Um, okay. Hmm. And then. Is it bad that it being allowed makes me want it a little bit more? Oh, no. <laughs> Uh, and then it is going to try to hide. 
uh, among sorry. this cluster of mushrooms. Which I believe is a stealth? Uh, hiding is an action of some sort. Uh, one action. GM rolls stealth check in secret and compares the result to perception DC of each creature you're observed by, but that you have cover or greater cover against or are concealed from. Uh, right, and what does stealth use? Stealth. So dexterity. <laughs> dexterity, gotcha. Uh oh, the music stopped. Oh no, oh no, I forgot to loop it. Ooh. <laughs> there we go. Uh, alright. Uh, all right, yeah, this thing is uh, wide open. Like it is, it is clear as day. That's that's the fungus, um, and that is its turn. So, Sparky, you're up next. Um, okay, so Sparky, you are going to see with an almost over enthusiastic grin on his face is going to think. Oh, fucking boy. And he is going to pull out his big boom cannon. <laughs> oh, Lord. Okay. Yes, uh -oh. sir. Oh, there's no measure on this thing. How far? How far is each square? Five feet. You can also use the, the ruler. The ruler. Oh, there's a ruler function. Same one that's existed since we started using Foundry. Oh, oh yeah, there it is. Okay. So okay, so he's gonna stride right. What's the range on this thing again, Cameron? Do you remember? Twenty. Twenty, uh, I think it was. Every twenty feet, it takes a minus two. Every twenty feet. There you go. Okay, so I'm going to stride right there. You have to unselect the ruler and then move your token. Do that on your thing. Anyways, you do. <laughs> Dude, I've never had to. It's so weird. It's been a while okay, since we changed the ruler system, so it doesn't matter. You haven't played in a very long time. Fair enough. Okay, so, uh, anyways, he's going to take his fuck off big cannon, and mm -hmm. he is going to shoot it at this fellow right here. Okay. Ah, uh, 22. That succeeds. Ooh. Roll damage. Fantastic. There's three points of damage. Three. All right. Okay, you uh, fire your cannon, and uh, you know it takes a little bit of uh, you know flesh off the big mushroom, but not not a whole lot. So then, uh, does it take an action for me to reload this? Yes. Okay, so now I'm going to reload it, and that will be the end of my turn. Okay, Crocolockle, you're up. All right. Ah, roll, circle, circle, all right. Uh, Crocolockle's first action is going to be moving to over here, and then second action is going to be uh, to yomp a bottle of lightning at it with Quick Bomber. Good lord. Uh -huh. Um, so that is going to be, oh, that's an eight to hit. Uh, yeah, that, uh, that does not so succeed. It'll, at it'll all. take the, it'll take the one point of splash damage, but that's it. Yep. Shut and I forget, we, uh, PCs don't get critical fumbles, correct? PCs do get critical fumbles, just only when you get a nat one. Nat ones and nat 20, nat ones are the only critical fails for attack rolls. That's right. With certain exceptions, like somebody's gun. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Uh, what's next? Uh, my final action is going to be to cast glass shield on myself. Ah. Oh, so you, all right, you all no. watch as uh, Crocolockle's skeletal arm just like the goop. He just takes it and starts smearing it all over himself. And you watch it just harden to this glass-like substance. Oh, why? Um, why? Why is this character a thing? Glass. 
Uh, this character makes me deeply uncomfortable. Meanwhile, <laughs> I should also note the frog is still dripping red goop on the floor. Um, <laughs> is it uh, not blood? No, it's not blood. It's way sicker. Six. And it smells, as it drips down uh, Sparky's face, it smells quite sweet. Lovely. Mm -hmm. um, so what Glass Shield does, it gives me a plus one to AC, uh, and it counts as me using the Razor Shield action. I can shield block with it, it has a hardness of two, and then I can use a reaction. Uh, if someone breaks the shield, I can use the reaction to have it explode at them. So that is my Not turn. bad at all. Okay, that brings us to Kelby. All right. Oh, let's do this thing. All right, let's do this thing. Um, he's gonna, uh, first rage. All right. Ah! Um, an action. Let me see. Yes, use the action. I will apply the effect. Now I have two temp HP. Um, and I'm going to, uh... I'm gonna fucking use a uh, sudden charge. Oh. Um, so yeah, I'm literally going to uh, stride twice and then make a strike action at the end of my turn. So I'm gonna, wow. at the end of that, those two strides, I'm gonna stride all the way down here. Instead of hopefully good flanking maneuver. Good aim. And I'm gonna strike. All right, make your attack. With my fists. Um, let's see. That's a 19 to hit. That just barely misses. Oh no! Uh oh. All right, that's my turn. All right, that brings us to Marvin. Marvin. Yes. Okay. Insurance. Take... Yeah, I'm gonna beat him to death with an insurance thing in my jig. Yeah. Insurance um... claim? Or sorry, I reject your claim. Just like all insurance companies. Well, I'm not really an insurance agent. It doesn't matter. Um, <laughs> okay, we're gonna go. Let me pull the ruler, sorry. Okay, yep. I'm gonna go there. And then. Oh, what's his bucket say? Okay, that's not what I'm gonna do then. Uh, I'm gonna use my tail toxin. Ah, all right. Now, how does that look? I guess I take my tail and I inject him, question mark? I, I guess you do. Uh, well, actually, no, you don't inject it. You, uh, you apply your tail to your weapon. Oh, I'll do that then. All right. Um, okay, I'll apply it to the sword cane, and then I will try and stab him with the sword cane. All right. That That's hits. 20 to hit. Good aim. Roll damage. That oh. That does seven points of damage and one persistent poison. And one persistent poison. Ah. One persistent poison. Now, Persistent Poison, is that the, at the end? End of their turn. So end of the creature's turn. Okay, gotcha. So you can, you can apply that as a condition. Ah, okay, wonderful. I'm going to go ahead and do that right now. That's all three of my actions. Uh-oh. Would that be Persistent Damage? Yes. And then you okay. set the damage type and the amount. And then if you oh, have it okay. set up properly, it should automate, but it might not, so. Okay, and how much uh, poison damage is that? One persistent. It's, it's just a flat one. Mm -hmm. uh, looks like it. Okay. All right, there we go. Okay. And is that your turn? That is my turn. All right. <clears throat> that brings us back to the fungus lesh. Uh, the, the fungus creature. <laughs> Shh, you didn't, you didn't hear me say okay. anything. Um, yeah, and its name is totally not in the initiative order. Definitely not. Uh, it's going to go... Uh, and it's going to uh, stride up here. Actually, uh -oh. wait, shit. Hang on. Is it no, still wait, in maybe. its other form? 
Hang on. This the way this creature is written is very weird. Um, it has it has behavior that is weird for combat. Um, let's see. Okay. Uh, now, does it take an action to dismiss a spell? Depends on the spell. I'm assuming you're talking about the change shape thing, in which case I would imagine yeah. you just would have it change shape again. Okay, that makes sense. Yeah, so he's going to spend an action to change shape. Uh, and then he's going to stride up here. Uh, and then he's going to make a ranged attack against, let's say, <laughs> Sparky. Oh, row. Ro. No! So, that's a 22 to hit. Oh, that'll do it. That hits? Yep. All right. That is five points of bludgeoning damage. And remember, it comes out of your hey, stamina first. Bloody. Comes out of your stamina first. Oh, yeah. I don't know. Damage comes out of your stamina before your health. Okay, so it goes. So now I have zero stamina and whatever. Nine health. Whatever does. Whatever damage you take comes out of your stamina first, and then whatever rolls over, it rolls over. So if you you took how much damage is that? Five. So if, if you have four stamina, that would mean you take four damage to your stamina and one damage to your health. Okay, cool. So it's like a buffer. Yes, that's exactly what it is. How often does stamina... You can, you can regain it after 10 minutes outside of combat. Okay, fair enough. All right. Ooh, cool, cool. All right, and then uh, that is the Leshy's turn. So, all right, let's see if this works. Did it all right, it doesn't damage? apply automatically, but it, it does okay. roll it. Uh, so I'll just have to okay. keep doing it automatically. There is a way to there is a way to set it up automatically, but you also should have it uh, roll the flat check for recovery. Yep, and it succeeds. Nice. Well, not nice for us, but. <laughs> <laughs> So he's thing is, used uh, to be the GM yeah. that he's like, oh, the monster's winning! Yay! <laughs> <laughs> yeah, this guy's uh, he's looking pretty great. <laughs> Shut up! Shut up! <laughs> so, uh, Sparky, it's uh, your turn. Jacob. Right. Uh, uh, I'm gonna process that the second that you say my name. <laughs> So it looks like I'm responding to the camera, but I don't know. Let's see. Uh, okay, so. 20 feet. Just with it. Alright, I am going to take my cannon and I am going to go boom boom. We love a good boom boom. Dude, that is a dirty 20. Thirty twenty. 20, 30, 20 that does damage. in fact hit. Roll damage. Yippee! I'm going oh. to roll damage. I roll a three. Three. All right. Oh. Now, hang on. <laughs> That's not that much. That was. That was a lot more damage than I did. Uh yeah, this thing takes uh, three points of damage. I shot him in the artery. He is still going to. He's gonna let out a little. What was that little? Meh? Little. <laughs> little. Little screech. So you have, I believe, two actions remaining? Yes, so... Um, I think what I'm gonna do 
is I am going to Alright, I'm going to reload, that's one action, In my last action I am going to attempt an overdrive. Alright, what does uh, that do? So, overdrive is a frequency of one round, it temporarily cranking the gizmos on your body into overdrive. You try to add greater power to your attacks, Attempt I attempt a crafting roll that has a standard DC for my level. All right, yeah, go. Knows what I'm talking about better than yeah. I do, but go. It. Yeah, go ahead and uh, roll crafting. All right, that is a 19. All right, and then your DC is 17. All right, yeah, so that succeeds. Uh, okay. you. Mhm. Mm so you get uh, overdrive applied. There you go. All right. So, now... so you get to add damage equal to half your intelligence modifier. Cool. Nice. And that's for this turn, correct? Uh, I, I don't know if it's for this turn or if it's just... It says 10 rounds remaining. Uh, temporarily crank the gizmos. Uh, success. Oh, yeah, it's for one minute. Okay, never mind. Yeah, you're good. Okay, cool. Um, where's my intelligence check? You... Your intelligence modifier, uh, that's yeah. going to be a plus four, so you add two damage to your attacks. Cool, 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 cool. cool. Now, you have one action remaining, right. uh, and you did already attack. No, that's all my actions. I took one to attack, one to reload, and one to overdrive. I see, I see, I gotcha. Yep. Uh, okay. Good. So that is your turn, which brings us to Croc Lockle. All right, and my glass shield expires, so I have shield immunity. Can't do that for another 10 minutes. Uh, Croc Lockle is going to start out by running on over here, and he's gonna do a quick bomber with a dread ampule. So he pulls oh. out this this vial of purple liquid, and he's just gonna yomp it at the the thing. That is a dirty twenty to hit. That hits. Okay. So uh, let me just double check what this does. All right. So on a hit, it takes one d six. So it takes one point of mental plus one point of mental splash. Uh, plus it becomes frightened one. Oh, all right. So oh. that takes two damage, and it becomes frightened. Ha ha! Fuck blah. Um, and Crocolockle is then going to, as his third and final action, he's going to pull out his frying pan. Ah, <laughs> and that is the end of his turn. Uh oh. Okay, Marvin, you're up. Kelby. Oh, we skipped Kelby. I skipped. Oh, I did. Oh, I'm, sorry, I'm sorry. Too busy fuming. <laughs> Kelby. Um. Okay. Uh. I'm. Uh. I, I'm. I'm gonna fucking just stride over like Arnold Schwarzenegger sprint up to this guy, and I'm gonna just hit him as hard as I can with my fucking fists. You know, I need Ooh. you to know uh, that is the weirdest way I've ever heard anyone pronounce Arnold Schwarzenegger's name. Arnold Schwarzenegger? Yes. Schwarzenegger? <laughs> Schwarzenegger. Sorry. He was your yeah, governor, you should know this! <laughs> I didn't vote for him, I was like, a kid at the time, alright? Fine, I brought like the governor, alright? <laughs> oh my god. Well, I didn't vote for that king. <laughs> the governor! <laughs> Do you not, that's what we call him in California. So Do you not funny. know this? You know, oh my god. In California. I'm He's going to lower to your taxes. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> oh my gosh. Uh, uh, 23 to hit? That hits. Roll damage. Alright, that's 1d10 plus 7. Uh, fucking 14 points oh of damage. Oh my. Good damn. So yeah, this that's thing. Barbarous. Oh, 
This thing had a secondary thing that it was going to do if it hit low health. But um, you rush over to this absolutely terrified little fungus. Uh, he goes, ah! And you destroy him. <laughs> <laughs> oh. Uh, Don't and we as just you sympathize with the fungus now? <laughs> yeah, please. Uh, and as you as you do that, um, it explodes uh, oh. into a, a burst of healing spores uh, <gasps> to every fungi creature. Uh, oh. a thirty foot emanation. Now, none of you are fungi creatures, but I will oh, note no. that uh, on Sparky, the uh, the bitten off pieces of your uh, fungus uh, grow back. Are we out of initiative? Oh no, Crocolockle is gonna go ham for that. You are in fungus. fact out of initiative. Crocolockle before... immediately. Wait, 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 wait. Before before that happens, I don't think it's dead yet. So Kelby oh, no. just gonna just keep mashing that thing, right? Will you like, stop just terrorizing? Kill, kill, kill! Go, go, go. No. Just just mush it. All right. Marvin's and going to pinch the bridge of his snout with his claws. <laughs> Crocklockle is going to run over and pinch uh, Sparky on the shoulder so that he looks the wrong direction. <laughs> and is then going to take a bite out of the part of the mushroom that just grew back. <laughs> Good Making lord. Making sure to lap up some of the red goop. <laughs> God. Okay, um, wow. I'm gonna just pace this creature, by the way, this fungus. So it's uh, basically just. Stop by the way, paste uh, out yeah. of creatures. Uh, you all get uh, 60 XP. Yay! Oh, we're doing XP, all right. Did we, did get we, we doing do XP, XP for the first one? Uh, it, it doesn't matter. We did, uh, I forgot to apply it, um, and I oh, don't whatever. remember how to find the XP for that encounter again. Because uh, the, the, it doesn't say in the book. Oh, um,. It probably is based on difficulty. I'm guessing we probably don't need to worry about XP. <laughs> you, you absolutely don't. Not at all. But no, this is our next campaign, If you want to keep guys. track of that, there you go. Uh, anyways, so uh, this little creature uh, is dead. Um, and I, now that it's dead, I'd just like to point out, um, if you didn't immediately kill this thing, um, it would have run away. Oh. Well, oh. It's a good thing we have a snack now. Mm -hmm. Yeah. <laughs> Yeah. <laughs> Speaking of which, Crocklockle's gonna run over to it, squeeze some red goop no. onto it, and start chewing on it. Good and Start Lord. mowing down. Well, now that uh, we've done that, <laughs> what else would you guys like to do? You have uh, two doors to the west wedged open. I guess one of them is to the north now. Two doors wedged open with fungus uh, and one closed door to the south. Do we want to go to the, through this one because we're closest to it? Yeah, let's uh, let's go do that one. Sweet! Buckluckle's going to step through. So we're going to leave the... Uh the fungus guy behind. <laughs> Croc Locko's currently chewing on as much of his head as he can carry. Hang on now. Okay. Well, uh, right. as you enter this room, uh, you see a cluttered chamber uh, full of crafters' tools, bundled supplies, and a just a towering uh, table with just junk piled onto it. Oh no, I get the feeling there's nothing of value here. We should probably leave and not make any perception checks. I, 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 I think we'd make a perception check would be a good idea. You're going to make a perception check. I'm going to make a perception check, <laughs> I yeah. might be a good person to do it, it doesn't matter. Well, he said it first. Well, if you'd like to do it... It doesn't matter, because Colby rolls them all for us anyway. Yeah. <laughs> oh, you did it already? Um... I got an 18 for my own roll. Ah, oh, those so, are well, secret I, checks. I rolled an 11 for you. No, you don't tell uh, us. That way we, we, you. Don't, we don't yeah. know. Yeah. We oh, don't shit. know how badly we failed. Suspend the disbelief. Uh, the uh, the, the, Sorry. The disbelief is suspended. Come on, uh, what is this? Your first time GMing or something? What the fuck? <laughs> 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 Sorry. Wow. 
Um, Low blow cam. <laughs> but, uh, so, uh, you searching, you don't really find anything. Would anybody else like to uh, give it a shot? I would like to search. All right. You also do not find anything. You, you, you rummage through the things. Uh, you know, you you almost think you find something, but uh, no, yeah. There's any really protein find here? Anything of value? Any uh, any protein edibles here? I'm trying to make a perception check. Ah uh, ah uh, ah! Uh, I see. I see. Uh. <laughs> Shit. Uh, you actually do find something. Um, <gasps> what? You uh, you, you you eye something. Uh, in uh, you know, in this pile, uh, you you find um, a strip of maggoty rotten meat. I have a coal mold, right? I could eat this shit perfectly fine. Is that if true? that's what you'd yeah. like to believe. Is that, is that true? Lore-wise? I don't know what lore-wise. I don't know shit about this dollar. setting. <laughs> Absalom? Ugh. You don't know shit about Absalom? No. <laughs> As right now, there's a. You think oh, I've been? Uh, you think I've studied a thing in my life? Fair play. Um. Cameras so yeah, you know, never opened a book. I mean, I will say. <laughs> I will say that uh, aside from the table, there is a uh, you know big host of uh, crates and such uh, down here. Crocklockle wants to lurk. All right. Now, Crocklockle. Yes. You do actually find something. Uh, you crack open one of these crates, uh, and you find what must have been somebody's, you know, storage. Uh, because in uh, that crate, you find. Drum roll, please. Um, a light hammer, a hatchet, five backpacks, wow. four bedrolls, two fishing tackles. Artisan's tools, a hundred feet of rope, and a repair kit. Or a little My slow. god. All in this one tiny little crate. Burles, it's comically small crack. crate. I will take a backpack and a bedroll. Crocklockle is going to, before you can take anything, try to squeeze something out of the frog all over everything. No. Oh, Lord. <laughs> oh, no, stop it! <laughs> can, I, can I make a check of some kind to see if I can beat Emma to this? <laughs> you don't make a check, but Emma make a reflex save to stop <laughs> it. <laughs> oh, my God. I hate this party so much. Yeah, uh, just as he's about to squeeze it, you... Uh, shut the frog's mouth. Ah, it's gonna get backed up now! A bunch of uh, bright green goop comes out the other end of the frog. <laughs> oh, no! <geez. laughs> no. <laughs> what? Cam, it, like, why yeah. sprays onto the ceiling. Oh. Can you, can we, like, can we... Mark is gonna Cam take his backpack, his bedroll, and step over here. So look what little dude! Right, as, the, right. as the green goop drips onto the floor, you can see oh. it burning through the stone. Oh. oh, wow, that's just nasty. I, 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 can we ban Cam from using his imagination <laughs> for like the next like 30 minutes, please? <laughs> so, That'd be nice. So, so Marvin gets... Oh my or, gosh. Marvin, you take a bedroll and a backpack? Yep. Okay. Uh, what else was in the, what else was in the crate, did you say? Uh, there is a light hammer, a hatchet, uh, three bedrolls, two fishing tackle, four... Ar uh, no, sorry. One artisan's toolkit, a uh, hundred feet of rope, and a repair toolkit. Crocklockle as well as take four more backpacks. I'll take uh, the hatchet. I do not trust Crocklockle with rope, but okay. Crocklockle is taking the rope. He already had rope, but now he has more. Even more rope. <laughs> there you go. Uh, I'll, it, I'll just it, I'll just uh, add it to the rope that I already had. Uh, I already I already gave it to you. I know, but I already had rope in my backpack, so it's. Fine. I see. I see. <laughs> Uh, if it doesn't encumber me, I'll take the hatchet. 
Uh, go right ahead. Sorry, wait, who said that? Jacob or Yono? Me. Jacob. I sound right like oh, Jacob shit. right now. <laughs> I'm basically Jacob Paris right now. All right, uh, that was the hatchet you said? Oh my god, is that Jacob? Is that the voice of Whoa. Jacob Paris that I hear? Whoa, world famous Whoa. Jacob Perez? Anyways, you have a small axe now. Yippee! Uh, who would like the light hammer? It is not a hammer oh, of light. A... It is just oh. a small hammer. Oh, well, you had you had Kelby's attention, but you lost it. Sorry. Does this appear magical? Can I like, uh, do a check or something? On yeah, that? make an Arcana check. All right. Um, also, has time been ticking down? Because I have shield immunity that I'd like to eventually go away. <laughs> uh, I'm going to assume that it's been ten minutes. I, okay. I forgot to start the clock, so. Yeah, let's just say. Okay, I I got an eight on my arcana. Um, you can't tell. But you, can I do an arcana? You don't check? think it is? Yeah, go ahead. I got a nineteen. This is a light hammer. It is not magical in the slightest. It is just small. Okie dokie. Damn. Rocklockle throws it over his shoulder. All right. Uh, oh. It's on the ground. <laughs> so three bed rolls, two fishing tackle, an artisan's toolkit, and a repair toolkit. Who would like the artisan's toolkit? I'll take the artisan's toolkit. All right. An artist that hard anyway. Who would like the repair toolkit? So, yeah. Again, I don't need I don't need the vices of, of, well, of the flesh. I would like to mention <laughs> you are here to make money. I'll oh. take Oh yeah, that's right. I'll whatever. take the Oh my gosh, a, a, a second repair toolkit that I don't need. Whoa. I will sell this for money. There you go. I will take this. Uh, two fishing tackle. Uh, Who wants it? I say in a Scottish accent. How much do the fishing tackle weigh? Uh, Jesus. Uh, they one weigh ball Jesus? <laughs> <laughs> Average 130 pound male. <laughs> I, I can carry one, but I'm not very strong, so. Yeah, I can carry one as well. Okay. That is one for Cronklockle and one for Marvin. Then just four backpacks and three bedrolls. We can come back for this later. Right? Probably. Or we can, like, drag them over to the hole, maybe? You could also wear a backpack. I have a backpack. Oh, shit, you're right. <laughs> Is there anybody in the party who doesn't have a backpack yet? No. Okay. Well, let's go. All right, let's, dra case, let's drag a shot. There you go. What would you like to do now? Well, there was that other um, door, right? Down to the south? Was it south? Uh, there's one door to the south and one door to the southwest. So we're going to go through the open one because it's already open. Yeah, let's do that. Sure. What's in here? D dungeon. Big, sorry, game master. So, you uh, get in and... Ooh, oof, it is cold. Uh, it appears that you're inside of uh, an old ice box. Um, and actually, um, let's say... I'm going to have Crocklockle actually mm. make a perception check, and you get so immediately upon noticing this, you're you oh you smell something, and your 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 chef's eyes immediately spot something in the <laughs> middle of the room, uh, you know, surrounded by fungus, uh, is a cluster of mushrooms growing out of what appears to be 
a casserole pan. Oh, get the fuck out of my well. It is a rusted casserole pan filled with holes, completely unusable. Fuck. And filled with mushrooms. Now, before you take it, do anything with it, uh, I'd like you to make a nature check for me. Okay. Uh, that That's is a 19. So, you see that these aren't just any mushrooms. These are chanterelle mushrooms. <laughs> Get the fuck out of my well. Uh, <laughs> uh, and you know that this, oh, this shit tastes good. Uh, you know, this is not a request, it is a demand. Uh, you could yeah, totally eat all of this. Uh, Get out of my well, you big fool! And you actually also notice, uh, <laughs> uh, I think Kelby, uh, I think you're in his way. Crocklockle is gonna tumble through Kelby. <laughs> <laughs> uh, is that a check? Is that acrobatics? Yeah, that's an acrobatics. That's a 17 against his reflex DC. And your reflex DC is... Yeah, that succeeds. Fuck yeah. Crocklockle tumbles through. And you also notice uh, that the other mushrooms in this room aren't quite as good. Uh, it's the opposite, in fact. Um, the mushrooms in this room are all poisonous and theoretically could be used as poison. <laughs> oh, it's my birthday! <laughs> what the fuck? Is it actually, is it actually your birthday? I don't know. I don't know when I was born. Oh, okay. Crocodile is gonna pick the pan up. All right, you you now have a rusted holy, uh, not like divine holy, but full of holes, broken holy, <laughs> uh, casserole pan. He's gonna dump all the mushrooms into his little pouch, mm -hmm. and then he's gonna take the pan, mm -hmm. and he's gonna start stroking it with his claws getting as much of the rust into his pouch as he can. Mm-hmm. And then he's gonna start licking it. You frighten me. <laughs> Sir, are you sure you don't want some insurance before you do weird shit like- What the fuck is insurance? <laughs> well, uh, it's basically you pay a certain amount of gold per month and if something happens to you, the insurance will give you the money or give you. It's a scalpel! Don't fold for it! <laughs> Crocodile is going to take the pan, mm -hmm. turn it upside down, give it one final lick, and then is going to place it on Marvin's head gently. <laughs> <laughs> and is then Marvin going to begin will... gathering the poisonous mushrooms. Okay, okay. Delicious. Um, you get four doses of, of uh, belladonna poison. Hell yes. Yes. What about you, big guy? Uh, any family, friends, anybody you need to take care of if something happened to you down here? I mean, I think, I assume so. I, I don't under, no, understand what that works, though. What do you mean? Like, I, I give you money and what happens? You give me money back? That's, well, that sounds like a waste of time. You sign this here contract with a flourish. Uh, Marvin pulls a contract out of his jacket. You sign this here contract. And basically, Don't do it! it. Says if you give them money every month and then they say that they're gonna pay you back when you need it, but then when you need it, they don't pay you back? And you're gonna jump through all these hoops like a goddamn circus animal! It's whoa. bloody Will bloody you mental. kindly You're shut saying. the fuck up? Oh, no. whoa. <laughs> You're saying that I just give you money for a no, while. No, no. This you just is, give me nothing this back? This provides for your friends and family in case tragedy befalls you. I myself have six insurance policies out on me to take care of, you know, my friends and bloody my family. six? <laughs> I only said six. Where did you add 20? I, I love the seed that like the, the way this is framed is like I said I said bloody I said bloody oh, six not bloody six. The way, the, the way this I was is, like this... you've added twenty insurance policies <laughs> to way, I wanna say the way this is framed is literally like Marvin is trying to finesse her way crack to, like, lock, a, I'll pretty, pretty, much a, pretty much a dumb idiot and in the background Sparky is trying to like 
is literally doing the Hank! Hank, don't do it, Hank! Yeah, literally. <laughs> <laughs> I'm just saying, if there's people that you want to protect in your life, this is a dangerous place. We've faced two well, things so like, already. But they're not here. They're not here. You could just keep money. Right. Your uh, how how, how, how can we shut the fuck up for a second? Oh, yeah. Um, What's up? I just heard something running. Where? I don't know. Can I tell where the running was from? Yeah. Oh, I where? forgot about the giggling. Where, where I liked it from? better giggling. when I didn't remember there was uh, giggling. Sounds like it's giggling. in this vague direction. South, almost. Well, shit. Kick down the fucking door. <laughs> no. <laughs> so are we, uh, are we going through the door? I imagine so. As Sparky right. spazzes the fuck out. <laughs> is, is Sparky the door has locked? a seizure. Oh, fuck, oh, fuck, is the door locked? Uh, nope, GM. door's open. Scare, scare, scare. Oh, so it's locked. He's gonna try to bust the door down. Oh. <laughs> Go ahead. <laughs> All right, it's open. All right. <laughs> it's my dad! Now, as you uh, oh. open the door, you see, um, first and foremost, uh, a gigantic hallway, um, that, you know, seems to go deeper and deeper. Uh, crates and furniture are stacked up against the walls, and, uh, there's just dusty old games and toys and a really ugly giant duck down to the southwest. Um, like, it's a rubber duck, but it's just, like, big and ugly. Um... And of course, as you open the door, the first thing you see is a uh, large taxidermy alligator uh, right beneath a table covered with games. Crocklockle's gonna run in and give it a smooch. All right, as you run in, Crocklockle, uh, you hear something. What the fuck was that? The sound bite cut out. You hear barking. Um, what? Why do I hear a dog? And as you look behind you, you, you see... <laughs> Colby, are those your dogs? You see three very poorly taxidermy dogs. Oh my god. This one appears to be the pack leader. Uh, and the two behind it... Oh, oh dear. Oh my god. These things are quite miserable creatures. <laughs> are even worse for wear. Oh my god. Oh my god. Oh my god. <laughs> As they bark incessantly. And I need you all to roll initiative. Oh, oh my gosh. And as you do, that's where we're going to end Bucky. tonight's session. Oh, oh no! Oh, my God. Unless, awesome. I mean... No. I'm kind of tired, so I'm already yeah, scared. Same. Let's go. <laughs> what the... My God, man. Wait, I didn't oh, see God. the third. I didn't see the third one. Oh, the, oh, the third one, yeah, yeah. Uh, the, the, the back two are the same. Oh, okay. Oh, my God. It's just that, that one in front is a special looking pack leader. Are we, are we Yeah, waiting? let's just roll initiative now, just for the hell of it. Yeah, yeah. Uh, just, just to start it. Oh my god. Oh. Shout out to Marvin for the natural one. Oh, shout out to the to the pack leader for a natural twenty. Shout out oh. to the player character uh, for being here. <laughs> <laughs> Why is it still coming as player character? I didn't I, change I, anything. I I don't know. I thought that I fixed that. You need to change the token name in the token settings. I see. And it, it won't adjust to all of them so, until you drag a new token down. Oh, uh, gotcha. All right, That's well. Fine. I'm just making fun of you at this point, so. <laughs> I know. <laughs> um, but amid all of this, uh, you know, this barking of dogs, you still hear a very faint giggle and scattering around. Oh, not the giggle. I don't know what that is, but I will hope it is good. Well, I guess you'll find out in two weeks. Oh, oh yes. So, as we end this session, um, oh, I get to do this this time. Uh, players, <laughs> how are you all feeling? 
That was awesome. <laughs> that was the comedy. Oh my god. Absolutely fantastic. I thoroughly am enjoying being a player for once. <laughs> oh, I bet. <laughs> How's it I, feel, Cam? It's How's really it feel, nice. huh? It's really One nice. One of us. One of One us. Of us. I, One of us. I, I had so much fun setting this up. When I found out that like there were taxidermic dogs in this, uh, and they don't have uh, images associated with them, so I had to like go online to find them. I was like, okay, I just need some like real ugly shit. <laughs> what I thought about using uh, was like the uh, the taxidermy deer ass. Um, <laughs> you, you know what I'm talking about? No, but it just sounds hilarious. Uh, no, me, you're fine. It's a classic. Kid. Oh my god. Um, have that really so, janky taxidermied lion. <laughs> so, uh, let's go down the list. Uh, Kelby, how are you feeling? Kelby, as in the. The cobalt. Yeah. He's just head empty. Does it he doesn't think. He has no feelings. Alright. <laughs> and uh Yono, how are you feeling? <laughs> oh my gosh, this is hilarious. I'm this is I'm having weight. What the fuck did you just send in the chat? Fuck? <laughs> that's that's taxidermy deer ass. What the fuck? <laughs> what the fuck? Um, Where did you get this what? photo of me? <laughs> <laughs> Uh, no, um, Crawford. no, but it's this is, my God, what the fuck is happening in in this in this in this group dynamic? I love it. Wonderful, wonderful. Oh my God. Uh, oh, I thought about using oh this as well. God. I love oh ugly taxidermy. <laughs> uh, Crack lock How are you feeling? Crack lock off, little scared. <laughs> I I bet. Snacks. I bet, buddy. He'll stir stern right now, too. <laughs> I can imagine. Uh, Cam, how are you feeling? Oh, Cam is feeling great. Awesome. Cam is very, very pleased with Colby's performance tonight. Oh, lovely, lovely. I I'm very glad. Yeah, uh, Good job, dude. Oh, thank you, man. Oh, yeah, uh, that just reminded me. Uh, you didn't get to see uh, Micknick earlier, Jacob. I did not. This is this oh, is your yeah, boss. Fun little guy. I I had a whole speech written out uh, for you specifically. Oh, cool. Uh, I wrote responses for everybody. Um, anyways, uh, Marvin, how are you feeling? Well, um, tad annoyed that this Sparky fellow has shown up and is interrupting his sales pitches. <laughs> Mm -hmm. Just trying to help the people out, and he's being a real pill. Oh, you're just trying to help the people out? That's all. That's what they all say, don't they? And Emma, how are you feeling? Curious to see if anyone can guess where the character c came from. Your character? Yeah. Shrek I the mean, Third. It's it's a. <laughs> It's a character wearing. It's a character uh, wearing a suit and tie. So I'm gonna say every office ever. Um, alternatively, I'm I'm gonna guess. Uh, for some, I don't know why, but your character is your character is giving me like. Uh, you know the TV show Dinosaur, with all the no. dinosaur ah, puppets ah, from like ah, the '90s. I don't know why, no. but like your your character about. is giving me that vibe. <laughs> You would be wrong. <laughs> Thank you. D Dinosaurs, the, the, the family sitcom that ends with everybody on Earth dying. <laughs> you know, that one? Yeah. I thought that, that I was one. making it too obvious, but okay. Oh. Is it I, you, I, I you all are going to scream when you get the reference. It's going to be like, oh my god, it's so obvious. What's the reference? What is it? Tell us. Well, that's not my decision to make. Ah! Oh, nope, you gotta wait another two weeks. We'll reveal it later. Two yeah. weeks, alright, two weeks. If you couldn't figure it out, wait. you gotta wait two weeks. Good yep. Damn it. Fuck! And then, finally, Sparky, how are you feeling? Um, really... Uh, 
still really confused why everyone's talking about this thing on my head. I don't know what they're talking about. <laughs> Is it like his like like you know how your how your brain like filters out your nose even though you should like technically see it all the time? Don't say yeah, that. Yeah. Fuck. <laughs> yeah. I see it now. It's yeah. Like yeah. Is, is it the same thing? I I think it's a similar thing. Yeah. <sighs> ah. And uh... I I think what I'm gonna I think what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna like have him look into a mirror and he's just gonna be like, oh well, that wasn't there this morning. How the hell did that get there? <laughs> <laughs> and uh, Jacob, how are you feeling? Uh, I'm feeling pretty good. Sorry I showed up so late. It's a, it's a long story that I'll probably end up telling you guys after we after we stop recording. No trouble. Uh, just, just glad you were able to make it. Yeah, me too. Uh, I was actually really excited for this. Um, uh, but yeah, I'm, I'm, I'm pretty. I'm, I'm doing pretty good. I like it so far. Great. Oh yeah, nice. We want to give a special shout out to our first member on Buy Me a Coffee, Jane Meyer. Thank you so much for your support, Jane, and to anyone else who would like to support us in exchange for some pretty cool rewards, you can check us out on buymeacoffee.com slash live from Dice Jail. <laughs>